Tyreek Hill said that uh, Patrick Mahomes was trash in his first practice. <laughs> uh, how would you? <laughs> um, just, just, just it down needed right. to be said. Was he really that bad in his first practice with the Chiefs? Was uh, he really that bad? I don't think he would have been that bad, but there is an element of coming from the offense he came from in college and right. learning a Coach Reed offense with the verbiage, with the formations, with the shifts, and on the motions and all that stuff. And it did take him a while to get acclimated to that. I remember, you know, I got to play with him that Week 17 game, his first year, his, his in only— In Denver. In Denver. Because you'd already made the playoffs, and Alex Smith, you know, you make sure he's going to be healthy for a playoff run, so Mahomes wet his beak a little bit in uh, in, in a little AFC West action in Correct. Denver. Correct, okay. and— I remember being very impressed because you watch him in preseason. That was really the last time you see him in kind of that game action. And right. his ability to make all the calls, kind of run the, the huddle efficiently. The thing I always kind of pull back to is we went to Denver in week 17. Now they were out of the playoffs too, but still it's a pretty big divisional uh, rivalry. The fans are going crazy. It's cold. We had no procedural penalties. And think about even this Monday night, Russell Wilson going back into Seattle. Think yeah. of how late they were snapping the ball. The timeouts they had to run, uh, f- delay of games, things of that nature. We yes. had none of those in his first start. And so by the time he was ready to go, he was ready to go. It was just everything was smooth. It ran efficiently. Um, I don't remember that first practice. I was pro- probably too busy doing my own thing off to the side. And, right. you know, we don't have to catch the ball from the guy. You don't t- tend to remember too much about it. But early on, it was those splash plays. And we all obviously got really excited about it, and me being a little bit of a pessimist, it was more, all right, I mean, this is cool, but there's no repercussions. It doesn't matter if you throw a pick. It doesn't matter if you do these crazy things. Let's see it in the game. And then he got to the preseason, and he was doing it in the game, and then obviously we know the rest of the history. Yeah, because, uh, you know, to go from Smith to Mahomes, um, I remember we talked to Kelsey, right? Did we talk to Travis Kelsey in, at the Super Bowl in Minnesota mm-hmm. when Alex Smith got traded? <laughs> and I remember him sitting there going, you know, Alex is my guy. Obviously, we got a new guy, but Alex is my guy. And uh, was was there a, a moment about turning things over to the young guy where there was a question of what was going on? At no, all, because Mitchell? it happened pretty peacefully. It's not like this kind of 49ers uh, transition, right. you know, <laughs> Pat got drafted. It was very clear Alex was a starter. Pat was the backup. We ran the whole year that way. I mean, we had a really good season. I think Alex led the NFL in deep passing that year. Uh, I think his motto was just like, screw it, let's go for it. And he started throwing the ball deep, and he was the number one downfield passer. Uh, obviously can't do all the stuff Pat does. And then he gets traded, and Pat's just the starter. So there was a pretty peaceful transition of power. And Pat is very much natural leader, kind of took that role on. It wasn't like, oh, I don't really know what my role is. Should I call the team up? Should I not say anything? Like, it just happened very uh, efficiently. And I don't know if that's having the sports background with his dad, you know, being around locker rooms and athletes and just understanding the flow of it. But uh, a natural leader, and he just took the reins and ran with it.